Hey, new this morning, we're following a police chase involving a Houston Fire Department ambulance. The ambulance was stolen from a hospital in the medical center. KPRC 2's Brittany Jeffers is live with more on the arrest. Good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. Well, this is where the arrest happened and where that chase ended. They say the suspect hit a median. I want you to take a look out here. You can still see the tire tracks, even the broken glass in the middle of the roadway. This is about 25 miles from where that ambulance was originally stolen from Memorial Hermann to where it ended. Officers say, say that the suspect in custody had just been discharged from the hospital. Look at video of that chase. The ambulance speeding by on a flat tire. Now, officers tell us the ambulance was parked at Memorial Hermann while paramedics inside uh, it had taken a patient inside. They briefly left it alone when they say the individual uh, jumped into that ambulance and took off. They say the suspect led them on a chase, exiting and entering the freeway, doing speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. This lasted for about 30 minutes. He eventually hit a center median off of Glen Chase in Northwest Harris County. Officers were able to get him into custody by smashing the window of the ambulance and dragging him out. He was checked out by EMS and officers say he suffered minor injuries. They also tell us that several patrol cars had blown out tires from assisting agencies spike strips that were used in that chase. We're told right now the district attorney's office will be reviewing this case to see what charges may be filed. Reporting live on Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Brittany, thank